when I was in Atlanta for that that one for yeah. that one game for like about seventy two hours. <laughs> Tell me about that. Yo, that shit was it was fun. So I got traded from Detroit, right? So, I mean, excuse me, not from Detroit, from Portland. So I'm at I'm at a, a um, little WWF event. It was well, it was WWF back then, mm. but now it's WWE. Mm. So we had a wrestling event in Portland, and you know it's me. Uh, I got my boys with me as far as my sons and Rube Patterson there with his son and you know a couple guys on the team. We enjoying the event, and then. Um, that's when my man came and got me. He was like, yo, gotta come talk to you. And Kane told me, they was like, yo, they just traded you to Atlanta. I was like, what? He said, you didn't know it was yeah. coming at all. I didn't know it was coming. I knew it was coming. I just didn't know it was coming that fast. Right. Cause it was like, you know, and um, uh, rest in peace, Paul Allen asked me. He said, hey, he said, well, do you want to leave? Yes or no? I said, I said, no. I said, to be honest, no, I don't, but y'all going in a different direction. And right now, at this point in my career, I can't start over again and, and be a teacher to ride out into the sunset. No, I'm trying to win one. Mm. And, you know, they wanted to go younger. That's when, you know, they drafted Zach and, and drafted Quintel and started drafting a lot of the more the uh more the well-known younger players. Like project of, players long yeah. term. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, no problem. And yeah, once they traded me, so came down here to Atlanta and came doing, uh, I don't know what, what it's called. I just know it as Hair Week, but I know it's an, more of an official name for Probably it. Probably the Bronner Brothers Convention would be my guess. It, it's massive though. Yeah. Okay. So came down here doing that. So I'm like, damn. I'm like, this how this shit going to be down here? Like, I'm like, ooh. I'm like, there is no way on God's green earth my marriage is going to last if I stay down here. Because at the time, I was married, right? I'm like, man. So then, um, you know, ended up at practice. We practiced a couple times and shit. Uh, um, Joel Prisbilla, Boris Diaw, uh, Jay Terry, Steve Jack. Um, who else was on that team? I'm missing somebody else. It was one more other person. Was but, Joe there? Uh, yeah, Joel Prisbilla was there. No, Joe Johnson, I mean, I'm sorry. No, Joe Johnson uh, wasn't there. But, you know, it was a pretty good group of guys. Who was and, coaching? Um, Terry Stotts. Terry Stotts. Yeah, okay. he was he was coaching. I think I think that was his first head coaching gig. I think you're right. And um, so, you know, we, you know, in practice and everything, and next thing I know, we went on, we on a plane heading up to Jersey just when the Brooklyn Nets was in Jersey mm. before they moved. And um, bro, we played the game. We almost won, and you know, next thing I know, we having some drinks, putting it up in the air, and I get that call again. I got traded again. <laughs> I'm like, damn. I'm like, all right. So I'm like, all right, cause the GM told me he was like, look, if we find something good for the team, I gotta let you go. But if not, then we gonna keep you. Period, point blank. I was like, bet, you can't be no more straight laced than that. Right. So once we, once I got traded and went to Detroit, I was like, damn, crazy thing though. When I was with Portland, we was just out there probably like about two, three weeks prior. I'm out there talking shit to Ben, talking shit to Chauncey, <laughs> Rip, the bench, everybody, right? I'm like, man, y'all ain't shit, man. Give me that ball, uh, doing this and that, right? I'm telling everybody else on the Portland team, I'm like, Rude, bust these motherfuckers' ass. Fuck them. Go at their ass, Bonzi. This and that, right? Two, three weeks later, I'm their teammate. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you know the shit I said a couple weeks ago. It was just, was just bullshit. Playing, yeah, I was, I was just playing, playing around. My fault, my fault, big dog. My fault, OG. I, I was just playing around. You know, we good now. You know, <laughs> right. we, like, we good Are we now. here? Are we here? All that, but no, it was cool. That's how that's how I ended up in Detroit. Wait, so back to y'all drinking and putting one up. This is just a post game. This is regular activity. Yeah, yeah. Paul, you know, once you once you uh, get on a flight, you head to another city. Yeah, post game activity. Either back then, um, you know, we had to sneak and do it. We was more in the bathroom and shit. Put the wet towel down. Put the wet towel over the damn hotel. Uh, room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Put the wet towel over the fire alarm and shit. If you had a window or like a, you had more of the sliding doors in cities 
uh, like Miami, Orlando, L.A., um, Phoenix. Warm weather. Yeah, that warm weather where they had the little sliding door, open that sliding door a little bit. Hey, going to town. Let's go. Did y'all ever get caught? Um, no, not really. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't, even back then, I will say, it wasn't too much shunned upon that much for the players from the owners. Like, they knew we was doing it. Right. All you had to do was come on in the hallway. Right. <laughs> as soon as you get off the elevator, that shit going to smack you. Right. But Paul Allen ain't never G Willikers, guys. I mean, it was like a damn skunk in here. He he might he might have been doing it himself. Maybe so. I mean, shit. Maybe. You know, he is a, he is a product. He's a '70s child. You know, all that grew up in the '70s. That's facts. So you never know. But it was it was cool though. It was cool. You know, we shit on every team. Every team you ever played on. Every team. I played on at, at least half of the team smoke. At least half. Washington too? Cause you weren't there that long. No, that's that's the only one I would say down there it was like about out of that crew it was like about four dudes who smoked. That was I feel like that balanced out with Portland, who was probably like twelve dudes, right? More than that. It was a whole <laughs> <laughs> only, Everybody. Only only dudes who didn't <laughs> smoke was uh, Sabonis.